tell us, uh, actually, tell us what it's like to be here at Hot Docs and your film to be selected here at Hot Docs. Well, it's a big honor. I mean, it, Hot Docs is, I've been going to Hot Docs for a, a decade, basically, since I came to school. I live in Toronto. And I came to Humber to go to school and I heard about hot docs and I started going every year. And I think in some small way, watching all the docs that I watched in that time led me to want to make a documentary. I don't know. I, I think at least maybe I'm. Just, um, and it's cool. It's like it's a real honor to be a part of this film festival and to be, a, you know, be able to present my film to people in the community that I know and they get to come and see it in like the best possible way. So that's really cool, too. Yeah, it's a real honor. Uh, so the slippers is about the crazy story surrounding the ruby slippers uh, after the film The Wizard of Oz wrapped in the 30s um, and how they basically started a now multi-million dollar industry of prop and costume collecting. Uh, do, you, do you go into other me memorabilia in the movie, of course? Yeah, we talk about other memorabilia and, and other collectors. Uh, one of the big collectors is Debbie Reynolds, the, uh, the actress from Singing in the Rain. She's one of the most prolific collectors, or was one, one of the most prolific collectors. So she's a big part of the story, and we do talk about other things, but really the, the Ruby Slippers are forefront because they are the catalyst to the entire world of collecting, um, and they're the prize. They're what every single collector who collects movie memorabilia wants, because if you own them, you're in the Hall of Fame of collecting. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, some of the challenges you had in, in making this document. The biggest challenge I had was trying to actually photograph the real shoes, which is crazy to think because what were they made for? They were made to be photographed, but seemingly it was really hard. I mean, the Smithsonian was gracious enough to let me go and film their pair. The Academy would not let me film their pair. Um, and uh, even the collectors who have them privately wouldn't let me film their pairs because they're so... There's a weird covetous nature that surrounds the ruby slippers and the people that do own them, even the institutions that own them, are somehow covetous towards them. They want to keep them and they don't want people seeing them maybe, or they don't want them shown in a light that's different than the light that they want them to be shown in. So that proved to be a little bit difficult in the end, but it worked out for the film. Tell us a little bit about the support you received uh, for your film. Well, in terms of, uh, so the film was financed uh, and produced by the company that I worked for called Tricon Films and Television, uh, who's uh, they're a Toronto-based company. So they supported the film entirely, uh, and they gave me free access to their crews and their um, their tech and everything, and I got to go out and make this movie, which was really cool. Uh, and then the people that are involved in the film, um, I was lucky enough to befriend a lot of collectors and um, people who are a part of this story that I had read about years ago, because uh, all of this comes from a book that I had read, and that's kind of that, the genesis of the idea. And I was lucky enough to befriend the people that are in the book and, and get to know them and have them be a part of the film. And they open up their archives to me, which was really wonderful. Uh, and to be able to go and utilize, you know, the stuff that they had collected over the years to make this film about collecting was uh, a dream come true. What does one expect to, when they come see your film? Um, I don't know what one expects when they come see. I I think that you know most people are going to come in with the with the idea that they're going to see a story about something that they think that they already know, but they don't. Uh, and that's the crazy thing. So The Wizard of Oz is the most watched film of all time. You say the Ruby Slippers, something comes to your mind instantly. You know exactly what they are. But nobody really knows the crazy story that surrounds the shoes, uh, which is something that really drew me to it because, you know, I love the idea that something seemingly so innocuous has such a crazy story surrounding it.